We turn now to Bob Newhart. This morning, we are remembering the comedy legend known for his dry wit and deadpan delivery. He passed away at age 94, and Chris Connolly is in Los Angeles with a look back at his life and career. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, Rebecca. One of the greatest sounds in the world is laughter, he once said, and on talk shows, on comedy albums, in two hit sitcoms, or just on stage at a microphone. No one brought more laughter than droll, understated, unbelievably funny Bob Newhart. He's a good friend. Uh, would you welcome Mr. Bob Newhart? An unparalleled practitioner of deadpan comedy, from stand-up to sitcoms to feature films, Bob Newhart made multiple generations laugh out loud. So you, uh, you have you have any si single grandmothers? In Elf, starring alongside Will Ferrell's buddy as his adopted North Pole Papa. Puppy wants to see you. Newhart's signature style meshed with a frenetic Ferrell. Buddy, we'll frolic buddy. and play. Buddy. But Bob Newhart had been a comedic standout decades earlier, in the 1970s, starring on The Bob Newhart Show as a shrink beset by patients like Jack Riley's Mr. Carlin. This is not your session. I wouldn't want to miss this for the world. <laughs> He'd follow that up in the 80s as an innkeeper in Vermont on Newhart with sidekicks Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. I throwed my back out last week crawling under a house. <laughs> Sounds like a tough job. Wasn't a job, I just like crawling under houses. <laughs> That second sitcom ending with one of the most talked about final scenes ever, in which the whole series was a dream sequence from the first one. I was an innkeeper in this crazy little town in Vermont. <laughs> but before comedy, there was a career in Chicago as an accountant, Newhart recalling on GMA in 1980 how he couldn't balance petty cash. And it sometimes took me three or four hours to find a penny or two. So I started hit upon the system of taking out of my own pocket. He turned to stand-up in the 1960s. His hilarious button-down mind winning devoted fans. No one could do one side of a phone call quite like Bob Newhart could. You found a shell on the beach. You, uh, you, you think that's unusual? Uh, do you worry finding a, a shell on a beach? I learned something about comedy, that one of the functions of comedy is to help people get past a difficult time and, uh, and, and, get, and move on with their life. His guest hosting of The Tonight Show during Johnny Carson's vacations burnished his fame. Don't go, Don't go, Don't go, Don't go, Don't go And the affection audiences felt for him. And everyone loved his fire and ice friendship with insult comic Don Rickles. Don is, uh, is my, best, my best friend, which just gives you some idea of the difficulty I have in making friends. <laughs> Bob Newhart made the claim that he was my closest friend. I have never met Bob Newhart. Admired as few ever are in show business, Bob Newhart died Thursday at the age of 94. He was married to his wife Ginny for 60 years until her passing in 2023, and tributes to Bob Newhart coming from every corner of the entertainment world. Hailed for his many decades of comedy and his many acts of kindness. Truly a life worth celebrating, guys. What a legacy, Chris. Thank you so much.